What is up, guys? It is Marcus from Perspective Sports, and today I have my NFL Team of the Year, Story of the Year. You can; Those are really interchangeable terms you can use for this kind of video, but I'm calling it the Team of the Year, and it's the Washington football team. And I hope you don't mind the Madden gameplay. I can't do the face cam right now. The garage light isn't working, and so we're going to have to make do with Madden. And so without further ado, we're going to start off, which I guess is two seasons ago now because Super Bowl is already over. Tampa Bay won the Super Bowl. So I'm guessing two seasons over. I don't count that as last season until the next season starts. But anyway, we're going to start about two seasons ago where the Washington football team finished up a 3-13 and season. They fired then head coach Jay Gruden of about five seasons after an 0-5 start, giving him a total head coaching record in Washington of 35-49-1 and and only making the playoffs one time. Washington would make the decision to hire former Carolina Panthers head coach Ron Rivera, who was ironically fired by the Panthers after losing to Washington in week 13 of the previous year to be their head coach and general manager. Rivera would waste no time changing the culture. He traded away offensive tackle Trent Williams, stating, we're going to build a culture with guys who want to be here, and began to bring in some former Panthers, such as linebacker Thomas Davis, and trading for quarterback Kyle Allen, helping set the tone for the new culture, in my opinion. He would also bring in impact players such as cornerback Kendall Fuller, former Washington player who spent the previous two seasons in Kansas City, and would go on to play 14 games this season, recording four interceptions, 11 passes defended, and 50 tackles. He would also sign cornerback Ronald Darby, a former Philadelphia Eagle, who started all 16 games and recorded 16 passes defended. He would bring in linebacker Kevin Pierre-Lewis, who really bounced from team to team, but found a really useful role in Washington. He would play in 13 games, starting in 11, and record a forced fumble, 56 tackles, and three tackles for loss. He would bring in guard Wes Switzer from the Atlanta Falcons. He franchise-tagged guard Brandon Sheriff, ensuring that he would be on the team for at least another year, and re-signed linebacker John Bostick. On top of bringing in impact players and re-signing some impact players, he also had an amazing draft. Hitting with the second overall pick in Defensive Rookie of the Year, Chase Young. In the third round, he would select running back Antonio Gibson, who really burst onto the scene around Week 7 against the Dallas Cowboys with a 20-carry, 128-yard, one-touchdown performance and would finish the season with 795 rushing yards and 11 touchdowns. But in the seventh round, he may have found the team's safety of the future in Cameron Curl, who in 16 games played, 11 games started, would record 88 tackles, Three interceptions, both good for second best on the team, and two sacks. Rivera was able to come in, identify the needs, and fill those needs with players who can play at an exceptional level and change the culture during a COVID-abbreviated offseason where you're not able to do the typical face-to-face -face with the free agents, the in-person meetings with, with the, the draft prospects. He wasn't able to do all the things in a normal offseason and still was able to change the culture and get this team to the playoffs. I understand. The, the division wasn't amazing, but this Washington team was competitive. This was no pushover of a team. And did I mention he did all of this while battling cancer, which he beat during the season? And so a congratulations is in order for Coach Ron Rivera. Then we have Alex Smith, a quarterback who went down with a horrible, horrible injury on November 18th of 2018. Smith would be tackled and in the process breaking both his fibula and his tibula. That alone is enough to end someone's career. Not to mention the infection with flesh-eating bacteria that would happen after his initial surgery, shifting doctors to focus on saving his life. Washington team doctor Robin West said, we're doing the best we can. And right now our first priority is we're going to save his life. And then we're going to do our best to save his leg. And anything beyond that is a miracle. A miracle, the doctor said. Not unlikely, not improbable, a miracle. And then almost a year later in September of 2019, Alex Smith posted a video of him walking without crutches. And in July of 2020, Smith officially gets cleared to return to the football field. And then on October 11th of 2020, almost two years later, quarterback Kyle Allen goes down with an injury and Alex Smith checks in for the first time since his leg injury. Smith would go on to play in eight games, starting in six, racking up 1,582 passing yards, six touchdowns, eight interceptions, a 66.7% completion percentage, but... In those six games, the football team went 
five and one. This is a team that was seven and nine at the end of the season. Alex Smith guided this team to the playoffs, coming off a major injury, no real offseason, new coach, new system, and still found ways to win games. And so congratulations to the comeback player of the year, Alex Smith. A few other smaller storylines that should be mentioned because it does show the resilience and the mental fortitude of this team. Tight end Lance Thomas recorded 72 catches for 670 yards and six touchdowns. Marcus, why, why is that impressive? Because Thomas is a former quarterback. He was brought in by the Arizona Cardinals in 2014 as a quarterback. He would then change positions to a tight end. From quarterback, remember, quarterbacks, you're not really touched at practice. You get all the protections of the rules. And then if you're a tight end, boom, you're thrown into the trenches. And it took time. He went to Buffalo for two years. He went to Detroit for a year before landing in Washington where he popped. We've seen a lot of quarterbacks who try to transition to other positions fail. We've seen some of them work like Julian Edelman, but a lot of them fail. And it took three years for him to get to this point where he looks like a guy who could be one of the better tight ends in the NFL. He may not be the best, he may not be top five, may not be top 10, but he will be a tight end in the NFL. And then finally, we have probably the least you know notable thing, but I feel like it should be mentioned. This team did change its name from its past name to the Washington football team. And that's not that big of a deal because all it did was make them a butt of a couple jokes on social media. And you know your team name doesn't influence how good a team plays. And so I just kind of put that in there to say they went from being the laughing stock of the internet to division champions. And I know, I know, I said it earlier, the division wasn't that good. But why didn't Dallas win it if it wasn't so good? Why didn't Philly win it? Why didn't the Giants win it? The football team won this division. And I'm not one for moral victories, but they played the Buccaneers pretty close. They, they, there was opportunities to win that game against Tampa Bay. And so overall, I am super impressed by the Washington football team and what this team was able to overcome in order to get to the playoffs and get to the position that they were in this year. Ron Rivera battling cancer, got fired, was able to start from scratch, build a new culture and make the playoffs while battling cancer. Alex Smith, a lot of people would have never played again. He played, went five and one and got his team to the playoffs. These are the kinds of stories that I feel need to be shared because it's really impressive. And congratulations to the Washington football team because I think this team, in all reality, has a very bright future ahead of it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. I look forward to making more videos. See you next time.